Counter 9 here, and um, today I'm making a quick video on how to record your actual Xbox. Yeah, I know the screen is being covered up by my finger, but here we go. Um, basically, um, I know this is the first video I'm using my voice. Uh, there's actually two of us on this channel, but um, so this video is going to be a quick video on how to uh, screen record your Xbox One. I, sorry, the camera's kind of wobbling and stuff. I'm just using my phone to record this. Um. But yeah, we'll get right into it. So basically what you're gonna wanna do is, um, you, this has to be done on Xbox One, you can't do it on Xbox 360 or anything like that. Um, so you can see right here, I'm in Just Cause 3. Um, so basically what you do is there's two actual ways to do this through the same program. So say I just wanna record like what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna press the, uh, this button right there, the main menu button. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and I'm going to go over to the left and click game DVR. Now once you click game DVR, it'll give you three options. The first one is to end clip now. So if I click end clip now, it'll give you the option to save, like record the last 30 seconds, 45 seconds, one minute, three minutes or five minutes. So, this will um, make a, a clip of the last um, three minutes, five minutes, wherever you choose. Now, the other option is to use Start Clip Now. So, if you click Start Clip Now, you can press Start Recording, and it'll record up to five minutes at a time. And then, it'll just make five-minute clips. Um, that's basically it for um, uh, Game DVR, but what it, it'll just snap it so you could... Go to Just Cause 3 and I'm playing right here and I can see how long it's been recording and stuff. So that's basically um, how you record with um, Xbox DVR uh, on Xbox One. Um, if you're recording GTA 5 on next-gen consoles or PC, uh, obviously you can just press hold down and then press A to record. But if you want to record like Just Cause 3 or anything like that, that's how you do it. And then it'll save the clip. So once it's saved clip... So say I go start recording. So I hit start recording. So you can see it's just, it's recording right now. And now I'm gonna stop it. Uh, and then, as you can see, that pops up. It says game clip recorded. Um, now to take that game clip and um, to actually use it in editing, whatever you edit on, uh, you'll need to go onto your computer. And I'll show you how to do that right now guys so basically once you're you've had your game clip recorded what you're going to want to do is um you're going to go to any web browser will work you can do this on a windows or mac but if you want to use imovie obviously uh it'll have to be on a mac anything whatever mac you have you don't have to have imovie installed but basically what you're going to want to type in is a uh, game DVR and hit search. So once you um, search game DVR, um, the one you're going to want to click on is Xbox DVR. So you can type in Xbox DVR, but game DVR is what I type in. And it will say view your clips and screenshots. You're going to want to click on that. And it should take you to a um, site that looks kind of like this. I'm not recording my entire screen, so it's not going to look exactly like this. But what you want to do is type in your gamer tag. So we just recorded the clip on the Xbox One. So you're just going to type in your gamer tag. Um, and once you go to your gamer tag, um, I'm not sure the exact time, but it does take a, actually a really long time. Not a really long, but... You'll have to wait a while for the game clip that you just recorded to show up here. But so once it's actually recorded and it takes a while to show up here, just refresh and just turn your computer off and wait. Um, it'll show up here. So you can see I have all these uh, things recorded. Um, so what I'll do is so say I wanted to take this Grand Theft Auto 5 clip. I'm going to go to it and I'm going to click download. So once I click download, um, 
the file will be downloaded to like so say you have Google Chrome it'll show up at the bottom um, and then you can just take that clip and then what you'll just do is drag it to your desktop all you have to do is drag it to your desktop and it'll turn into a file like this and then you can drag that into iMovie and use it however you want another thing is you can upload to YouTube right from here save the Dropbox it has all these things you can um, mess around with it you can put it to Twitter reddit Facebook all that stuff uh, there's a lot of things you can do with it but yeah so thanks for watching and um, make sure to subscribe for um, more content on Swift Matter 9 make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed and comment if it was helpful and that's all I have for today so thanks for watching